Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, it is Francesco here, welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, if you are brand new and if you're regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is diving into Notion, I'm going to be talking about how I personally set it up, I've been using Notion for about a month to two months now, it's between that bracket, I think it's about a month and a half, and I've been thoroughly impressed by it so far, I've been sharing a little bit on social media, but today's video is literally going to be how I use Notion on a daily basis. What I want to share with you guys is my setup specifically, and I've actually been reluctant to show you. I'll tell you why, and it's just me being honest, I don't tend to sh share setups until I'm pretty comfortable I'm going to be using the resource, uh, mainly because I don't want to give like you guys some misinformation about the tools I use. I've been impressed by Notion so far, and that's why I want to share it, because I feel like I'm in that motion then I'm going to be using it as my daily holistical planner. So obviously I still use Todoist, still use Trello, still use Evernote on a daily basis, but I feel like this is an additional experience to help me plan holistically. And also it's been really help, helping me personally to plan my sort of personal brand stuff. Like, um, of course, like what I'm trying to do here on the YouTube and some of the freelancing stuff that I do and working with clients is actually weirdly helping to not just organize that, but mind map it in a way. It's not a mind mapping tool for those who don't know what Notion is, but for me, it's more like an exploratory tool. So I'm gonna show you that full setup today. There will be a few blurs during this, mainly because I don't wanna show you client information, etc. but I wanna showcase how I'm using it in general uh, thesis. So I hope that you enjoyed this feature, guys. Um, one final thing from me, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing to have you here in the community. So feel free to hit that subscription button and the bell notification and feel free to join the Facebook group too. I know a lot of you guys would benefit from it. I know there's almost a thousand members in the Facebook, which is truly awesome. So I'm really looking forward to if you join the Facebook group. Uh, I'm gonna be getting more involved. I feel like I've been slacking in the comments section. So I am going to be diving into the comments. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's feature. Um, for now, make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Let's jump on the laptop. Cheers. So guys, what we're going to be doing right now is diving into Notion. So what I want to do is jump over to the Mac version. I wanted to clarify there is a web version and an iOS version at the moment. And I'll include all of the links that I do mention or refer to in the description below. So feel free to check them out. So let's dive into the feature. So here is my Notion account. And what I was going to do in today's video is dive over what I've set up so far, and also the specific experiences that I enjoy about Notion. Now, uh, I think this has been one of my most requested videos, and this is mainly because I'm very particular about the set of resources that I use, and when I do, I tend to be a bit more pedantic about how I set those up. And I really love when I get comments from you guys about how I use Todoist and things like that. I really appreciate that um, because um, I feel like over time I become very indulged with the resource and I tend to get used to all of the feature set. Um, so here is my Notion. Um, now, for those who don't know, Notion is a very flexible resource in a sense. It provides you with a almost like intranet experience. So... Um, for those who really want to use it with Teams, they can because it really markets itself more as a team resource, uh, as a way to set up wikis, onboarding experiences, but it also has this personal experience. So I have an account. Um, that's a personal uh, workspace that I have, um, and it works great. Um, I've been using it, as I've said, for one and a half months, and I've more been using it for holistical planning. So as you can see, this is my home page. This is where I start off my Notion account. Um, you can see here that I've got Francesco's workspace. You can name it absolutely anything, which is lovely. I have an emoji uh, attached to it, and that's what the majority of pages inside of Notion have, is emojis to organize that. And you can see all the emojis uh, well, they're called icons uh, over on the left hand side and up here too, as well as on the page. You can also change the cover. I've stuck mainly with the Japanese artwork that they provide, but they provide a host of other, uh, you know, 
uh, backgrounds pre-created. So you've got NASA's archive, the Met um, museums, some a couple more museums, um, and these seems Japanese artwork is from the Met Museum, which is very nice. You can also upload your own imagery. So maybe as I get more comfortable, I will have one of those. So as you can see, this is my really simplistic homepage. As you can see, I haven't really done hideous amount to it. <clears throat> and that's probably because I'm getting used to it. You have long term goals here on the centralized column. You have projects on the right column. And just below that, you have bookmarks um, and a few bookmarks that I can jump to. Now, I put this really nice quote by Seneca, um, who is a Stoic philosopher, on this page, mainly because it's just a demonstration of the um, sort of like abilities of it. I can add a quote. I can add whatever detail I like. So it's almost like my own personal homepage. Um, I've been thinking every month I might change that um, and adapt it. So that's something that I only added in. Uh, and maybe in the first week as a sort of bonus experience to it. And it's just nice to have that, especially when you've got your own workspace. So to start with, I have week focus. And this is an experiment I've been running, mainly because I like to experiment with you guys. Uh, an experiment with you guys? No, I mean to experiment with my side of the productivity for you guys. That's what I meant. Um, and then I've got next three months um, and a five-year vision board. So as you can see, fairly short term, weekly, <laughs> of course it is, Next three months, medium term, that I guess, and five-year vision plan. That's just for me to sort of go in. So I don't. I want to show you the next three months, mainly because it has a few personal ones from me, and I'll show you a few, but many I'm going to blur out the ones that I don't think are suitable for you guys to, to view. Um, but I'll show you the week one. So the week one, um, as you can see, you can make your own layout. So the good thing about Notion is when you create a specific page inside of this, uh, what is nice is you get the optionality to choose one of their pre-created templates. And one of their pre-created templates is a weekly agenda. So as you can see, um, here I've got Monday to the weekend. And what I quite like about that is that I've got this, I'm not going to say mood board, but like most important tasks. So you may have seen from some of my screenshots of to-do's lately, I have removed the MIT area. I don't think it's less useful. I think I would just want to experiment with it in Notion at the moment. So as you can see, I've got my most important task for the week. Well, outside of obviously workload and clients, um, I've got my most important tasks. And they're the ones that I want to complete uh, over the period of time. So as you can see, it's just a cluster of beneficial, uh, most important things to do. Uh, and as you can see, it's very simple. Uh, I can tick things off, move stuff about if I wanted to. It's a little more, you have to get used to the micro actions inside of it. Like um, on mobile, it's real tricky to move it up. So sometimes, sometimes if you move it up like that, it will go into there. But obviously, Control Z. But you have to put it in the right pinned in the right place. Of course, I can bold and do everything like that. And I can convert some of these to pages if I wanted, which is really nice. Um, but I, I would say for me, this week focus is just my priority items for the week. I really like seeing it like this. And I can go back up here. I haven't really learned keyboard shortcuts just yet. So I just want to move on to next three months. Next three months roadmap is a way for me to see the goals for the next three months. Uh, and it provides me with January, February, March. Um, and I've even got a linked page in here to one of the PR campaigns that I'm working on for this channel which is going at the moment. As you can see, I haven't yet opened the full. So for example, if I open the window a little more, it extends to that. Um, and as you can see, it makes it a little easy to read. Um, but you can see all of the targets that I have, um, and I can drag any accomplished goals into the accomplished section. Um, and February, I can do the same. Uh, and every time at the end of the month, I shuffle these along. I create April, for example. <clears throat> And I will refresh February, March, April as well. So I'll just make sure I keep them tuned. So I don't keep too much focus on them. You may have seen in the week focus area, I tend to keep my priorities at the bottom so that I can go, okay, the priorities need to sort of map to these weekly ones. Uh, and the micro actions naturally go in to do it. So I've got my five year vision board. Um, as I said, uh, a lot of times I'm going to want to, my goal is to create and develop a suite of effective productivity tools uh, remotely based with strong support values. Uh, and there are some of my own images here. So this is my own setup here. Uh, and my mission 
is to help understand people. Anyway, it's just a nice area to actually have sort of your own vision board. Uh, I plan to add um, a lot more detail down here uh, and a lot more information as well. Uh, but in general, it's a beautiful workspace to see that. So there, there. that's all my sort of short, medium and long term focuses there. And I quite like having that there. I really like the way that it's flexible as well. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm, I'm going to take a quick drink of my cup of tea. Meanwhile, if you want to pump something in the comments, like whether you're interested in using Notion, feel free to while I just refresh. That's lovely. Okay. So as you can see on this right hand side, I've got projects. Uh, as I was mentioning, I have been using it more for my personal brand side of stuff. So let's click in here. I can dissect the different areas I've got. So for example, uh, I've been trialing it with a few listicle type stuff. Um, so personal branding, keep productive, word of apps, that's the other channel I run, which I'm still getting <laughs> expanding. Um, the study tips, which is got a new name, uh, and the tools they use. So let's just use this one. This is my new podcast, which is set to come out. I'm using this interview layout, and it's almost like a note here. So I eventually use all of the formatting options. You can create lists, bullet points. It just looks gorgeous, and I can add a cover to it if I wish. And if I just add a cover, it just automatically chooses one. If I don't specifically check, select an icon, it will automatically detect an icon. As you can see below the personal branding, um, just go back to personal branding, sorry. I'm using it in a very similar context here, uh, next 10 videos for this channel. Um, and you can use all the dividers and lovely portion offers, portion offers, uh, the, uh, the uh, checklists. So I've also got finance goals. That's a nice little area where I can update my finance goals. Uh, I've got client uh, overview, so I won't show you that because it's more detailed. Uh, but that's where I can see all of my clients' uh, progress with different different projects and different things. Um, and it's probably something I'll show you in the future. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, personal blog weekly. So I'll go into this and I can check off certain items. So I haven't actually completed that one. Actually, yet have I completed that one. So um, I will be doing that one. So I have themed my month for my personal blog. But it's a good way to actually have those checklists. I've got course planning as well. So this is my new Evernote Skillshare class that I intend to run. <coughs> I've got really bad for it. I would really do apologize. Um, so you can see here, uh, if I click into the Evernote Premium section, that's all of my notes on it. And you're probably wondering why I am not actually planning a Skillshare class inside of Evernote that is about Evernote. Uh, and it's mainly because I want to um, use the resource here. Uh, I want to learn about this more. So for example, this is all the different things and they will link out here. Um, and if I wanted to, so for example, my process, if I'm like, okay, I need to make this into a page. Now I'm happy. Uh, all I have to do is tap that, turn into page. And what will happen is you see it turns into a page and you can choose it. So for example, um, team home vision roadmap, weekly agenda. That's the one I had for week focus and division had their roadmap for there. Um, you can see that it has a fair amount of them and they'll probably add a lot more. You can import Word, Markdown or HTML or just start with a blank state and that's what I need to do here. So if I just go back, you can see here, there we go. The page is ready. I just need to put an eight in front of it and it's ready to go. So it's pretty impressive the way that it works and I also have a final project area called Health Goals. Um, as you can see, Active Clients is got this little like pointing uh, link to and once I click into it, it will go into a page that I created inside of client overview. And the same with the launch PR campaign. We'll go inside there, I believe, or there. Um, and it creates, opens up that link there. So it's very useful. And I can also go on useful websites that I find as well. I, these are not the useful. These are the sort of um, pre-created ones. I actually haven't used that section yet. But this will soon be a bookmark section, bookmark section that I'll quickly use to access websites, maybe even uh, quick uh, access to different files and links that I have running. So that's really nice. So I can customize this however I like. Um, all you have to do in most of the stuff is add command. Uh, it gives you a quick preview of what that looks like. I really like the divider section. Um, so I haven't actually fully done this yet, but if I just add a divider here, I can make it look a lot nicer. Go back. There we go. See, look, it looks a lot smarter with that. Um, and uh, let me just uh, 
show you a few more. Uh, you've also got quotes, dividers, link to page, images, web bookmark. Actually, you can that actually will do it faster. Um, so if I wanted to add a visual bookmarks to it, there, that's good. If I want to add an embed from uh, any of the video webs in Reddit, the video websites, uh, math equation, and I can connect up all of these uh, resources as well. So as you can see, it's pretty pretty damn cool. Um, I really like the way it's set up. Um, I did I didn't even know that you could do that. Um, so let me let me just go back there. Um, let me just slash and go into blue background. Okay, there we go. You can even make uh, it super customizable. So if I wanted to, maybe I could um, blue. <coughs> oh no, I made the text blue, but let's make the background pink. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, pink background. There we go. So as you can see, I've made it really customizable. I can customize it a lot more. Um, I can navigate quite well, and up top, I can use the. I use this a little bit. I can see the all updates. What I quite like about this specifically is the fact that it's like Cora. You can actually go in and see the edits, and I can use quick uh, search or quick find to discover everything else. Anything that I need to get rid of, or I want to create a new page to this whole setup, I just go to the bottom left-hand corner, new page, or um, trash as well. So. For me, this has been a great experience so far. I am thoroughly impressed by the tools that I'm using. As I said, I'll probably do another two months on this and then I'll define whether it's a resource that I will scale and use and continue to use. Um, but I'm very impressed with it so far. It's sticking in my uh, top apps. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments whether you have any opinions on this so far. I'd love to hear. Um, let me know in uh, the comments whether you are using a resource similar to this because that would be cool to hear too. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscription button. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.